Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video today. I will be showing you guys all the books that I'm planning on reading in February. I think for this very short month I have a very ambitious TBR for like my reading pace and how much time I have but I still really want to be able to read these books so that's why I'm showing them to you guys. So the first books that I want to read this February are the books that are on my read-a-theme read-a-thon TBR. Uh, it is still happening right now. I'm filming this on Saturday and the read-a-theme read-a-thon is happening until tomorrow and uh, our theme is poetry so I've actually already read two poetry books but if you want to see what books I chose for this read a theme read a thought you can click on the link in the description down below to see my uh, TBR so those are the books that I want to read for the Read a Theme Readathon, and then the book that I'm still currently reading is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, and I am almost finished. Oh, I'm almost finished with it because I have this little teeny tiny bit left. It is a really good book until so far, but it's definitely not on my favorites list. Uh, like with a lot of people, this is one of their favorite books of all time. I am just really enjoying it. It's just not like mind-blowing to me. So in this book you are in some sort of dystopian world where there are monsters who get sort of created when someone uh, has done a crime or has done a really bad thing. And then you have three monsters who can come out of those crimes. You have uh, Corsai who have like very sharp teeth and long fangs and then you have the Malkai who also have very sharp teeth, red eyes which are more like vampires and then you have the Sunai which are very rare kind of monsters. They steal souls through using music. In this book we follow August who is a monster, who is a Sunai. He's, he's a very rare monster but he wants to be human and we follow Kate who is kind of like the enemy of August and she just wants to be as vicious as her father and their stories intertwine and it's really interesting. So at the moment in this book I'm at a very exciting plot point but I'm still just not hooked. Like I I really want to know what is going to happen, but I'm not dying to know what is going to happen. So, and I think I said this in my December and January wrap up as well. I think that maybe it is because this is written in a third point of view and I am used to reading from a first point of view and I prefer that a bit more because she gets to know what the characters are feeling and thinking. And with this, like Victoria Schwab definitely tells you how the characters are feeling, but something is just missing. Like I don't have a special click with this book, but I am definitely going to finish this this month. I think that after reading this Savage Song, I really want to read something contemporary again. So I might pick up If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. This is a contemporary book that follows a transgender character. And last year I read um, The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson, which was a great transgender person book and I loved it so much and I want to read more books about transgender people so that is why I bought this one. This is also a very small book. I believe it's uh yeah it's almost 300 pages so it I should be able to fly through this book very quickly. In this book you follow Amanda Hardy who is the new girl in school but at her old school she was known as Andrew. And in this story she falls in love with a guy called Grant but she's just holding back and she doesn't want him to find out that she was a guy before. So I guess that this book should be an interesting read. I also want to read some fantasy again this month, so I have two options because I don't think that I will be able to read a lot, a lot, a lot of books this month because it's only 28 days long. So I might want to reread Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Still so in love with this cover, you guys. Look at how pretty it is. It's my favorite cover of all time. Like if I have to pick a cover from all of my books that I love the most, this one. So I'm very like, why did I get this in paperback? Last year I read a good chunk of it with a lot of my concentration, but then the last 150 pages I just had other things to do, so I sort of forgot the story. Um, so I just received the second book, Traitor to the Throne, which is just also so beautiful. Um, and I feel like I've just forgotten a lot about this story, so I just want to refresh my mind and reread this so that I can read Traitor to the Throne, which by the way is so much bigger than Rebel of the Sands. It's like 560 pages and this one is 360. Um, but I cannot wait to reread this one because I just love the story and I love the world. This is about Amani and she's been living in the same dusty old town all of her life and she just wants to discover her world and just 
find something new. So when a stranger comes into her hometown, she, like a foreigner, she goes with him and they go on this crazy adventure and she finds out all this crazy stuff. And I love it so much. It's action packed and I just love the whole atmosphere in this book. But if I don't feel like reading something in like a Middle Eastern setting, I will be picking up Caravel by Stephanie Garber. Guys, I'm so excited for this book, just like all the other booktubers. But the thing is, the thing is, I added this book to my Goodreads to read list before everyone was talking about this because I, like, it already had great reviews. It had like a 4.5 stars out of five average. And I was like, this story sounds amazing. It has such great ratings. I'm gonna add it to my to read list. And then all of a sudden, everyone was talking about this book and I was like oh my god I added that to my to read list and right now the hype is real for this book um I also bought this because it was super cheap on Amazon and right now it's really expensive so I bought it at the right time but it's so pretty like this blue star is so reflecting and if you remove the dust jacket it has a pretty blue sort of like tear or yeah I don't know it's just such a beautiful book and on the inside it's so pretty as well like the ending papers and you even have a beautiful map inside of this book and the story is also parted into sections I'm so excited for this one so if I don't pick up Rebel of the Sands again and I do want something fantasy I'm gonna pick up Caravel. So those were all the books that I want to read this month in February I know that I won't be able to get to all of these because time, school, 28 days of February. It's just not gonna happen. Let me know in the comments down below if you are reading some of the books that I am also planning on reading or what you think about them because I really want to know you guys' opinions. If you want to keep up with what I am currently reading, what I have read, and what I think of the books that I've read, you can add me on my Goodreads and I will leave all the links to my social media pages in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!